Okay, this is the paddle shift system I made for my LP640 replica. It's also available through mastershift.com, but they want $2,000 plus dollars for theirs. Um, and there's some things that I don't like about it, so I made my own. Um, I used the factory uh, mounts on the Fiero transmission. Um, I just painted them blue to clean them up. Um, the one arm that ho holds the cable, I had to extend four inches for the pivot point of the linear actuator. But this is the stock shifter arm. Um, attached to the shifter arm is a 240 pound 12 volt linear actuator that moves at 25 millimeters per second. Since there's only 3 eighths of an inch indexing between the shift points on the transmission, which is roughly one third of an inch, um, this unit will shift between the points um, in one third of a second. Um, there's a feedback slide under this plate. This is actually a heat shield. Um, over here, behind this carbon fiber piece, is the computer. It's a very simple computer. They cost maybe $20 to build. Um, it tells the shifter which way to go, how fast to go, um, and it has a lot of built-in uh, parts of it that won't let it shift into the wrong gear, like going into reverse when you're driving 55 miles an hour. Um, so there's a lot of fail-safes built into it. Um, we'll go over here to the inside of the car. You can see these are the paddles. You have an up paddle and you have a down paddle. You can move them any way you want by just telling the computer which one you want to be up and which one you want to be down. Um, hang on, let me get in here. So starting the car, there's a digital dot matrix display right there in the center you'll see come on. That pretty much tells you what, what gear you're in. Um, my speedometer <laughs> uh, went out, so it's kind of stuck at uh, 110 kilometers per hour, but that's okay. It's an easy fix. So in part, you would put your foot on the brake. Your foot has to be on the brake. Um, not just enough to put on the brake lights, but enough to tell the computer that the car is not going to move. You hit one click down, and it goes into reverse. Now you probably saw that blink a little bit before it went into reverse. That's intentional because it's actually three quarters of an inch uh, between park and reverse. So it blinks to let you know that it has received the command and is moving you into reverse. So from reverse, it's very quick. One click, you're in the neutral. Another click, you're in the drive. Another click, you're in second gear. Another click, you're in first gear. Coming over here to the other paddle, this will take you up from first to second to drive to neutral to reverse. And then once again, when it moves from reverse up to park, you'll see the park image blink. I think it's three times, two times. <laughs> um, this just tells you, like I said, that everything is working, everything is has been checked out. Um, it's just the computer's way of checking before it moves you from reverse to park or from park to reverse so that you're not going to jam up your, uh, your transmission. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, the whole system cost me under $300 to build. The one from Mastership, you don't get these you don't get these um, Lamborghini style paddles. I had to make these. These are out of um, 5 16 uh, aluminum plate. I cut them out, had them bent, welded, uh, then sanded them all out. Uh, so they're, they're pretty easy to make as well. Um, but that's pretty much the system. Um, so there you go.